it was very um, a very emotional time for us to have to contemplate the fact that the girls in some way would be isolated um, within our family, um, that they would not be able to um, communicate with um, their elderly grandparents. We're a very outgoing family. Um, the chatter, the laughter, the sharing, um, it seemed like a very bleak and definitely uncertain future for the girls. and being surrounded by people who thoroughly understood what we were challenged by. And they all said, yes, yes, this is the place for your, for your children to gain age-appropriate speech and language skills and then um, be part of the mainstream. And back in the beginning, those first days and years seemed to go so slowly and there were times where we questioned do we make the right decision to have the girls implanted um, have we done everything that we can for them um, but now almost 12 years have gone by and I have children that have been in the mainstream since they were four years old um, I have an amazing basketball player who is a joy to watch on the court um, her twin sister is a gymnast and um, a horseback rider. They both participate in their school choir. They've sung the national anthem at Kings Games and the River Cats Games. Um, things that as hearing people we take for granted, I have been taught to appreciate by my children. The rain. One day I was working around the house. And Kendall says, Mom, I hear the rain. And I said, yeah, it's the rain. And she says, it sounds like music. And I went, oh, it sounds like music. You're right, it sounds like music. But something that is so cursory to us, it's raining, was this huge opportunity for her to even interact outside of, of us. Um, my one daughter, very much the, the fashion conscious child, came out and, and she constantly comments on my clothes actually. But this one day I had this animal print um, sweater on and she came out and she goes, Mom, you look very cheetahfied today. And I went, where did that come from? Cheetahfied? But also in that split second I can go, I would not have had that moment had years ago we not chosen this path of listening and spoken language.